I'm Ian Metzegoyen. I'm with what's your name? I'm Father Patrick Father from Malaysia. From Malaysia. And you said how often have you come to Metzegoyen? Oh, I lost count. I think it's about 15 times I've been here. Wow, why My you... first time was in 1997. Yeah? yeah? And why do you come all the time? I find that this is my spiritual home. Mm -hmm. And in the first time that I came here in 1997, yeah. I have a change of heart. And, yeah. and as a priest, I am who I am because of Major Glory. Wow. What happened? Um, I was having some doubts in my priesthood. I was about two and a half years ordained. Mm -hmm. And we had struggled with my priesthood actually. Mm -hmm. And I came here and it was during summer of 1997 near the anniversary of the apparition and they when I came here for about a week mm -hmm. in the whole week itself a lot of people come to me and say only one sentence and that sentence is thank you for being a priest and it changed me mm -hmm. and I had a priest today is because of it wow yeah. that's for people we have to encourage our priests we have to pray for our priests and give a nice word, you know. Yeah. You're all human beings. We need encouragement, correct, you know. Correct. Just these little words, yeah. but yeah. beautiful, so big. <laughs> and um, what is Metzogoy for you? Uh, it's my second home. It's my spiritual home. Why? For, Why that? So every time I feel that I need to come back, I will come back here to renew myself, to recharge myself, and to give me strength again to carry on. Wow. <laughs> and um, what is your favorite spot in Metzogoy? Your favorite place here? Oh. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> the apparition here, yeah. the cross mountain, crash mm -hmm. and the church, you say, we all appear to be. Mm -hmm. I just want to be here. <laughs> and you, you, you know, a lot of people say yeah. they feel that the presence of Our Lady is here. You yes, it is. It is. I do feel the presence of Our Lady here. How yeah. would you describe it to somebody who doesn't know about Medjugorje? Um, how to describe it? It, it just means that you have a home with somebody and somebody want, someone is with you all the while. Yeah. Yeah. They, that is like home, when you're back home, you know, mom, your dad is in, but you don't need to see them all the time, but you know they are sure that they are there. Yeah. And yeah, the same thing happened to me, and I feel the presence of Mary here. Uh -huh. Beautiful. <laughs> and, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people here in Medjugorje, they go to confession, or they want to go to confession, but they are scared. What would you tell these people? What is the beauty of confession, then? Just come. Just yeah. come to confession. As a sinner, as a broken person, the wounded person, just come. The Lord will heal us. Yeah. The Lord will heal us. Just come. Why are you so joyful? Has that to do with your Catholic faith? Oh, again, I would say because of Medjugorje. It gave me the joy to be a priest and to be who I am as a person also. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, amazing. You pray the rosary, Father? Yeah, I do. I do. What is I so do. beautiful about the prayer? Oh. It's a lost life. <clears throat> His whole life is stay in the rosary for mm -hmm. the joyful to the glorious we say, the life of Jesus is there. Mm -hmm. It's a prayer of the heart, it's a prayer of the Bible also. Yes. Yeah. And um, you know, a lot of people look, look for their vocation in Medjugorje. Yeah. How is your journey? How did you become a priest? And what would you give people as an advice which way they should go and how they could live their, their vocation? Yeah. Um, Surely there's a lot of decisions to be made and a lot of decisions are according to what we think about it and we say this is the right decision but sometimes decision may not be the right way mm -hmm. right, right choice that we have made but along the way we purify ourselves and purify decision, purify the journey mm -hmm. then become clearer and clearer in what we are supposed to do and for any vocation the priesthood or this life is the same mm -hmm. they start with a desire in the heart they need to pursue it and see where it leads us. And eventually a person will come to us and this is the way, this is the path we have to follow and then we have to choose it. Wow, yeah. so beautiful. And did you make the experience that when you live, thy will be done, that you are in peace, when you live out of your own will, that you are not in peace? Um, yeah, in making that decision, sometimes it's harder to see that is it the right decision they made Mm -hmm. But when we make that decision and carry on what we decided to, mm -hmm. then we find the peace. Mm -hmm. And a sign of that will be, if anything like us in a parish, when we do something parish, mm -hmm. people are happy and people are joyful and cooperate with us, then it's a sign that, yeah, we made the right decision. Mm -hmm. okay? And of course, any decision they made is always um, in collaboration with our lay leaders and lay people. And that's important also. 
And you know, our, our Catholic faith is about a personal relationship with Christ. What would you give people as an advice if they want to have this personal relationship? Come to Mass. Come to Mass? Come to Mass. Why? What is so beautiful come for you mass. as a priest about Mass? Yeah, come to Mass, listen to the Word of God, yeah. celebrate the Eucharist, yeah. and then you find you are not alone. We have so many brothers and sisters sitting with us in the church, yeah. and we all the same. We are all broken sinners, but God comforts us also. Wow. And at the end, what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje one time? If Mother Mary calls you and you will say Medjugorje, do come. Wow. <laughs> and um, did you receive healing here? Because a lot of people received also healing here personally. Yeah. Um, I do not see it all the time, but anyway, if anybody feels it, then that is for you. Say again, I didn't understand. I did not see all the time that there are a lot of miracles, a lot of healing. Mm -hmm. But if anybody mm -hmm. finds that he or she finds healing in Medjugorje, yeah. then that healing is for that person. That's absolutely. And what would you say, what is so beautiful to be a Catholic priest? <laughs> About yeah, your vocation? Yeah? yeah, I mean, it's God's choice. Uh -huh. It's God's call us and we just want to answer it faithfully. And yeah do what the Lord asks us to do as a priest. Yeah. I think it brings, brings us great joy. Yes, I see it in your eyes. Thank you so much <laughs> for that so interview, much, Father. Uh, thank you. <laughs>